Hi guys, welcome back. So, I don't know if you saw my Timu haul last night. I got these little resin molds here. Um, I'm going to try using UV resin in them. Uh, I am going to put my gloves on for this one because I do know that when I get ready to demold them, the backside may not be cured. Because normally what you can do with a clear mold, you cure the front and then you can flip it over once it's cured and cure the back. So I know I'm going to have to take these out and they may still be a little tacky. So I'm going to put one of my gloves on here. I may not put them both on, but I'll put one on so when I get ready to take it out, uh, it's going to be all right. So I have my seaweed here and then I have some fish. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do the seaweed in green. And then I think I'm going to do the fish. I think I may do the fish in blue and maybe purple. We'll see. We might throw some glitter in with them. How's that? Let's throw some glitter in there. So, let me get my color out here. Get my colors here. And figure out what we're doing. All right. So, I have sky blue. have jade green, grass green. We'll do grass green. Um, I have purple here. I'm going to do purple. I have another blue, uh, sapphire blue. I have, what is this one? This is sapphire blue, and this is a better one. So I think we're going to use a sapphire blue. Uh, the grass green and what other one do I want to use? Well, this kind of looks like a clownfish, so let's what do we say we do orange and then I'll come back in with white and do the lines in white uh, with my paint pen my little acrylic pen here we'll come in and we'll do the lines in white and we'll make it look like Nemo we'll make Nemo how's that I think that'd be fun all right let me get my glitter here what glitter do we want to use well, let's see what we got here what we want to use so in the green in the sapphire. I kind of think I want a purple in the sapphire. I already have purple right here. I think I might put some purple in with the sapphire. Now uh, the orange. I have a little bit of orange glitter here. I might put a little bit of orange glitter in that one. And maybe in with the green. What do we want to do in the green? What color do we want to do in the green, guys? Which you guys could tell me. Oh, let's do this blue one with the green. There we go. All right. So let me get my UV resin here. So we're going to do this. And it's not going to take a whole lot, guys. We're not going to have much of this. We really have to. It's not a super deep mold. All right, let's put my lid on here. Since we're gonna start with our green, shake my pigment up. Four, do five. Let's see what we get. With UV resin, you do have to keep it transparent enough that. The light can get through it if you do it too thick. 
too dark, it won't penetrate it, and it won't cure fully. Uh, I did fill one one time, I overfilled it, and I left it outside for like four days out in the sun, and it did finally cure, but it literally, it took four days to cure, so it wasn't like, it, I put way too much pigment in it, I didn't know when I was first doing it, starting out with UV resin, um, and I kind of went a little overboard, and like I said, you couldn't see couldn't see through it at all. I wasn't transparent. And my UV light just didn't cure it. I mean, I think I left it on there for several minutes. <clears throat> trying to cure it over and over again. And like I said, I finally just set it out in the sun. If you don't know, UV resin is... you can That's how you can cure it, is by putting it out in the sun. So I think we're going to start with this one over here. I'm sure I'm going to get it all over this mold. I'm going to have to use my new silicone brush to shove it in. How's everyone doing tonight? Hope you guys are having a good night. I am off tonight. I figured I'd get some videos filmed and all right so yeah we made a mess but we got new silicone brushes if you didn't see the Timu Mall same one where I got these Alright, baby wipe here. Let's see if I can suck some of this up on the outside edge here. Worst case scenario, we suck up the resin and put it somewhere else. Take forever at this rate, but hey. Promise I won't make this a super long video, guys. I know you guys got lives and things you want to do, and they don't always revolve around watching an hour long video of me talking. You guys like hearing me talk while I'm doing this because I've noticed that a lot of the videos lately are going to. Where they, they don't really walk you through the steps. Which, don't get me wrong, I like a lot of these artists. There's several of them that I really, I really enjoy watching. But, I want to hear about what you're doing while you're doing it. You know, if I'm watching it for educational purposes. If I'm just watching for entertainment, just to see what they're painting, great. But if they're doing something new, and it's something I've never seen before, and they're like, oh... I'm not going to make you guys suffer through this. I'm going to fast forward you or I'm going to... I'm like, I want to know what you did there. What did you do? I saw you put that in, but... You know, what did you do when you put it in? Why did you put it there? And what are your thoughts on this? And what else could you have put in there? You know, things like that. That's why I love so many of the artists that I watch faithfully. I love Julie with Pouring Your Heart Out. She walks you through everything step by step. Um, Claire's Crafty Corner. I love hers. I've been watching in just the past few days. She's been doing these Chinese New Year ones. Oh my gosh. They are so cool. I love red and gold anyway together. And red and gold and black would probably be, if I had to pick three colors that I thought would really complement each other in, in something, I think those are three. Oh yeah, I got most of this off of here, guys. And this is actually working really well to fill this with, so I'm probably at a time going to fill the other one here. So, let me just take this out. I'm going to suck up more of this. Just 
are so cute. If these turn out like I'm hoping, I have a plan for them. Um, I have, in a past team of all, I bought these big round spheres. And one of my plans, of course, is I'm going to put a rose in it. But I want to do one that's going to be like an ocean scene. Because this, the spheres are so deep, I'll have to pour them in multiple layers. So I, what I thought is I would pour one layer. And when it's almost cured, I'd put these little fish in there. And then when it's almost cured, or when it's cured, I'd add another layer and so on. And then the bottom layer here, I would put the seaweed where it's standing up inside of it. And then at the very bottom, when you're done, you can actually put a light under it, which I thought was such a neat idea. I'm like, how fun is that? Put a light underneath it and light the whole thing up when you're done. Almost done here with this one. All right. Push this back into the resin here. Bubbles here. Let's pop the bubbles. Come on. There we go. I'm going to let this set for a minute anyway, and those bubbles will usually pop on their own. If they don't, I will come back in and pop them manually. This is a very kind of strange mold. And let's take those now. All right. Perfect. So I think what I'm going to do, because there's not much in here, I'm just going to add some more resin and I'm going to add my blue to it. I'm not going to change it a whole lot. It's not like I have a whole lot of green in there. We're going to do our fish. That ought to be plenty. I got... I'm going to, like I said, I want to do the... I want to do the little Nemo fish orange. So, I got my sapphire blue. I'm just going to put this in. I'm going to go just a little bit darker with this. There we go. And, we're going to add in some purple glitter in this. Add some purple glitter. Yay. Alright. We're going to stir it up. Oh yeah, this is pretty. Alright. So, let me get a bunch of my glue tucked up here. So this mold's a little deeper. I feel like I can actually pour this one. And I'm going to need more resin for this. So, it's alright though. I thought these would be so pretty in that clear. They'll fit in a clear deal, and then I'll add a little bit, just a slight tinge of blue. Probably shouldn't have made these guys blue if I'm doing that, but that's all right. I won't use them in it, then I'll use them in a different one. All right, I'm going to accept some more of this blue. Because I want to do this little fishy here. And then we'll do the other two in orange. And we will cure them all. All right, more blue, more blue. 
Can I get my blues? Oh, here it is. More blues. I appreciate everybody. I've got some new subscribers recently. I appreciate everybody for stopping by, checking out my channel, subscribing. It really, really helps, guys. So much. You don't understand. People that don't do YouTube don't realize how much that helps. They're like, oh, I don't subscribe to very many people. Guys, if you really enjoy a person's channel and you're liking the content, the best way that you can support them without doing mon anything monetary, people are like, oh, I don't want to join... Some of these artists have Patreon, they have different things like that. Uh, I saw one lady, she even has Cash App. Guys, if you ever want to buy anything that you see me make, I have an email in the description box below. Just email me. Uh, we'll talk about, I'll let you know the price. You know, we'll find out where it needs to be shipped to, whatever. We'll get all that taken care of there. Uh, but, that's the best way you can support your artist or youtuber that you enjoy watching whether it's somebody that does videos i watch a guy don't ask me why i never plan to move there but i watch a guy that does rentals in new york city i watch him because he's just he's very entertaining to watch but i'm just i'm like blown away by the prices of an apartment in new york city of course i'm down here in my in florida and it's not a whole lot different down here but I subscribe to his channel, you know, and I, I have no intentions of ever moving to New York. Not in this lifetime, you know. But I enjoy the content, and I'm going to make sure that, you know, that's one of the ways that he can keep his channel going is by... Because some of these people, this is their only source of income. YouTube is it. Um, other smaller channels like me... If YouTube is your only channel, hey, power to you. But right now, YouTube is not my only source of income. I wish it was. I wish it was an income. And I wish I could just do this permanently. But until I get to that point, I can't. And the best way to support somebody is to like and comment and subscribe. Those three things. Watching the video fully helps. But it also, like I said, if you can just go in there and you comment and you say, hey, I really enjoyed your video, it was great, and you subscribe to their channel, and you share it. If you have somebody that you're like, oh man, you, Susie, you gotta see, you gotta see this video this person did. They made the cutest things. That's another way, you know, because then it lets other people, makes other people aware of the person you're watching. So... Just a way to let people know. I just want to let it. Because most people. A lot of people don't know. I talk to people. Daily. And. At my job. And I'm like. I have a YouTube channel. And we get to talking about it. And stuff. And people. Most people don't have a clue. That. The subscribes. And the likes. And comments. Are what. YouTube bases it on. So. The more you know. The better you are. I don't know. If that's true or not. But. I just wanted people to be aware of that. And I appreciate everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I appreciate everyone who watches my videos. I really do. I'm so grateful. I have a couple people that comment quite regularly. Carolyn, thank you. You know it's you. Uh, she has always has such positive, wonderful things to say. And I appreciate that immensely. Very motivational, especially, like I said, when you're just doing this for yourself, basically, and for everyone else. You, I love to talk. <laughs> I love to teach people things. I I was a manager at an art operation, and I trained young people, young men and women, how to make art of all kinds, how to sell their art, how to hustle, how to get people to stop and come up and buy the product we were selling. I taught them how to do the art. Some of these kids came in and they really didn't have a whole lot of art skills. Some, don't get me wrong, there were some that were just phenomenal from the start. But there were some that were just, they needed a summer job. 
and we ended up finding out that these kids had huge talent that we didn't know, that they didn't even realize. Some of them didn't even realize themselves until they started out with us and found out. I don't want to waste this. What can I do? Oh, I know what I can do with this. No, I can't. Can I? Yeah, I think I may try it. So, I filled this little, my little fishy up earlier. And I didn't have quite enough to fill him. So, I think I'm going to pour the rest of this resin on him. And see if it'll, if we can cure just that part of it. This isn't UV resin in here. This is epoxy resin. So, I don't know how that's going to react. I don't think it'll matter a whole lot. Because I've seen... I've done top coats of UV resin over the top of regular resin, so my little koi fish are so cute. I can't wait to demold them. All right, I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna get a baby wipe here. We're gonna wipe out the little cup, and we're gonna do our orange, and then I'll cure these. I'll put you guys on hold while I'm curing it. Just because I don't want you to have to sit here for five minutes or three minutes or whatever it takes to cure it. And just watch UV light. Alright. Baby wipes are your friend when you are using resin. Actually, any kind of... Actually, alcohol wipes are your friend. But baby wipes are your next best friend. So, now we're going to take, I'm going to wipe off my little gel. I'm going to put a little bit more resin in. And, eh, just a tiny bit more. Alright. I don't want to overdo it because I don't want to end up with a whole bunch of orange resin now. Alright, so we're going to shake up our orange really, really well. Three, four, five. We'll do about five drops of resin there. And some pretty orange glitter. After we make sure this is dark enough. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be pretty. And it's not going to be enough, but that's alright. We'll just fill one of them if it's only enough for one. Yeah, I think it's going to be enough for both of them, but that's alright. We'll just do the bigger one then. We'll do the bigger one, because I think it'll be enough for him. Stir it up here. I did get a little bit of blue glitter in, but I don't care. He's a fishy. I can't wait to see how these turn out. We shall know here in just a few minutes. I have ordered another another order coming from Temu. Um, I ordered a seahorse, which I never knew the name of a seahorse. Does anybody did anybody besides me not know the name of a seahorse? Uh, I was like, because in this, where you buy the molds on Timu, it gave you an option of four different, four different ones. And I was like, okay, I know what this is, and I know what this is, and I know what this is, so what the heck is it? Where is the seahorse? I'm looking for seahorse. Never realized. Don't know why. Guess I never really paid attention or something. That, uh. Apparently the name of a seahorse, or the name on Temu anyway, is called a hippocampus. Never knew that. Oh, I just put that on there. What did I do? Drop 
you know. All right, so that one there is not going to be full enough. We're just going to add a little bit of clear resin to him. All right. Use our little silicone spreader here to spread it around. These fins are pretty detailed, so I really want this to be in the fins. Alright guys, so I'm going to clean up my cup here, and uh, I'm going to get my resin, my light, my UV light, in case you guys have never used resin. Uh, the kit I ordered came with this light, and it unfolds like so, and you can click it on, what am I doing here, why am I not, oh there it is, click it on, and if you hold it down, it'll stay on indefinitely. So I'm going to let it go off real quick. I'm going to click it on. And I'm going to hold it. And I'm going to start out curing the greenery. I will come back when they're all cured, guys. And we will remold them and I'll show you how they turn out. Bye. A few moments later. Okay guys, we're back. So, I'll put my glove on here. We're going to demold these because I already know they're going to need cured on the back. But we're going to demold them, flip them out, and uh, I'll put you guys on pause again and we'll finish curing them. But they're going to be cured enough that we can pull them out of here. Because when I touch them, it's pretty cured on this side. But like I said, because this isn't a transparent mold, we're definitely going to have to cure them on the other side. So they are still probably going to be a little flimsy. Which is fine because we will let them flat. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at the detail in that seaweed. Oh my gosh. That turned out so nice. Let's see how this one turned out. That was just about the right amount of green too. Oh wow. Okay, like I said, still a little sticky here. I'll just turn it over. Oops, which way is it supposed to be? This way. No, hang on. Yeah, this way. That's the side that's a little sticky. Yep. What did we dump here? Somehow we got... How did we do this? Oh. Okay, so he's not cured underneath. He's going to need some more. Okay. Big Nemo. I was like, wait a minute. Where did this come from? Alright. So now we're going to pull out the little fishy. The first one. Let's flip him over. Oh my gosh, guys. I can't wait till these cure all the way so I can show them to you up close. Probably should have, I probably should have let him cure a little bit longer on this side. But it's late and I want to finish this video. And Yeah, these bigger ones going to need more curing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cure the rest of these. I'm going to give these another coat here. These won't take long now that I've got them flipped out. But I will come back and carry these bigger ones and then we'll take them out. So I'm going to put you guys on pause again. Sorry. Uh. Okay guys, welcome back. So, I did find out one thing. Because of this mold, I am going to have to let these cure a whole lot longer next time. And what I may do is I may just cure them. Put them outside in the sun. I have a very sunny area that I can put them in during the day. But I just want to show you the detail on these. I don't know if you can see this or not. This one you can for sure. Look at that detail in that leaf. The little fish. See the little lines on his fins and his scales. 
Let me see if my flash helps any. Not really a whole lot. Yeah, the flash ain't doing a whole lot for it. Um, here's my little orange one here. My little Nemo fishy. Yeah, these bigger ones. This one here didn't turn out bad at all. Again, like I said, you can see the scales in the fish. You can see the lines on their fins. Very pretty. This guy here. I think I made him too dark. That's another thing with resin. Especially UV resin because the light has to get through it. So I'm pretty sure I made him too dark, but this is how we learn. And then this guy here. He didn't pull out all the way when I pulled him out. He wasn't completely cured. So part of him stayed in the mold. So I'm going to cure him some more. To get him out. But for our first try guys. Like I said. I'm going to put these out in the sun and let them finish curing. I think they turned out cute. I love the greenery. Love the little fishies. Love the detail on them. That's what I love about them so much. Uh, like I said I did order some more molds from Timu. This time we have, uh, like I said, the seahorse or hippocampus is what they call them. Um, what else was it? A seahorse. I ordered some ink pen molds. I ordered. Anyway, I ordered more molds. I have a mold issue, guys. Uh, <laughs> I kid you not. Hang on. Let me show you this. All right, let me back you out a little bit here. Okay, see this? This is one of these blue. This thing is full. Could you not full of resin molds? Underneath, I have a big round one. I have resin molds over here. My new ones that I haven't even put in there yet. I have more on the way. <laughs> so, just so you know, guys. We have resin molds. So, going to be seeing a lot of resin videos and a lot of mixed media videos. Combining resin and art. So, this video is going to be really long. Sorry guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Share, like, subscribe. All that fun stuff. See you in the next one. Bye.